Good morning class. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your very own and very simple DIY coat hanger balance that you can use for comparing the masses of different objects for your science homework. So the things you will need is, first of all, a coat hanger. A simple wire hanger like this will do. And for this design, I'm going to use two Ziploc bags. But you could use also plastic cups or paper cups or whatever container you have at home. The important thing is they should be the same. And also I'm going to use some tape to attach the bags to the hanger. And of course you can have a pair of scissors in case you need to cut something. Right, let's start it quickly. So first of all you need a wire hanger like this. Then. I'm going to attach one of the bags to one end of the coat hanger and for that I'm going to use a piece of tape. I already prepared some tape here so here it is. One thing you need to make sure is that keep the bag open like this and attach the tape to the inner side of one side of the bag like this. Okay and then put it to the end of this coat hanger and fold the tape around to make sure it is attached and then just snip it like this and it's done. Now let's do the other side, the exact same thing to do on the other side as well. A piece of tape, keep the bag open, attach it to the inside like this. Try to keep the tape smooth and then put it to the end of the coat hanger, fold the tape around and stick it to the other side. That's it. We are done. This is how simple it was. Right, so now I'm going to show you how to use this coat hanger balance. First of all, you need to hang it somewhere like this. You can hang it on a door handle or maybe on a simple cloth rack like the one I have here right now. Like this. Okay, so when both of the bags are empty, the coat hanger should be in balance. That means that both of the bags are at the same level. Okay, and the three objects that I'm going to use for comparing their masses are going to be number one, a marker, number two, a pencil, and number three, a marble ball. Okay. So what I'm going to do is pick any two of them in pairs and then compare their masses with each other. So first I'm going to put the pencil in one of the bags, let's say on this side. As you can see, now there is something in this bag while this bag is still empty. So that means that this side is heavier now, so it's moving downwards a little bit. You can see it's not in balance anymore. Okay, so whichever side is pointing down, that means that side is the heavier. It means it has more mass. Okay, so now I'm going to put the marker into the other bag. As you can see, it's already changing. Now this side is the heavier because this side is pointing down. That means that the marker has more mass than the pencil. Wow. Okay, so now I just need to find out the mass of the marble ball, whether it's heavier or lighter than any of these objects. Okay, so I'm going to take them out. Okay, and now I'm going to compare the masses of the marble ball with the mass of the marker. So this time I'm going to put the marker here. As you see, it goes down right away. But then I'm going to put this marble to the other side. Okay, let's see what happens. Wow, I'm not sure. Wow, can you see that? Now they're both at the same level. That means that the mass of the marble ball and the mass of the marker are the same. They are equal. I would have thought that the marble ball is heavier than the marker, but actually no, they are exactly the same mass. Okay. So, Looks like we have a draw here. 
the marble ball and the marker pen are both the same heavy. So, in order to make sure we have a winner, I'm going to bring a fourth object. So, let it be this pair of scissors. Okay, so now I'm going to compare the masses of the marble ball and the pair of scissors. I will put the marble here. It's going down right away. I'll put the pair of scissors into the other side. And let's see. Whoa. Okay, as you can see, this side is pointing down now. So that means that the mass of the pair of scissors is more than the mass of the marble ball. So now we can put them into order by their messes. I take out all of the objects and I take off the hanger as well. So what you can do is the pencil was the lightest so I put it here. The marker and the marble had the same mess so they are both at number two position like this. Okay and the pair of scissors was the heaviest, lightest, middleweight, heaviest. That's all. That's all you need to do. When you found out the masses of three different objects, put them in order from lightest to heaviest, take a photo and send it to me in Google Classroom. That's all your homework for today. I hope you're enjoying it. Take care, have fun. See you next time. Bye-bye.